Welcome one, welcome all, welcome. We're back here. It's classical age. We're still in a fight, and the only thing that scares me is these stupid horsemen. Um, and that's what we're building a bunch of spearmen at this point. Uh, we can see he obviously does not seem to have any iron. How many cities does this guy have here, Nebuchadnezzar? He has three cities, so he has one we can't see. We've got four cities. We're one up on him. We weren't about to get a fifth, um, and we've been wanting to get that for a bit. Uh, so, next, let's see. This guy is going to try to escape. Can he make it back to the city? He can actually absolutely make it back to the city. Good job. All right. Now, this guy is also just going to retreat and hide in the forest, and he's a better defense there. Oh, joy. That's a lot of people we need to deal with soon. Soon dealing with them. Hang in there, spearmen! All right. Accept embassy for money? Sure. Give us the money. All right. Are we done with the amber? Come on, finish that up. We need to make people happy over here. And I, I don't I don't think I'm going to found that city just yet. I'm going to wait until we can afford it. Now, the chariot archer made it back, but we've got more work for him to do. He's got to go out and do that. He can't heal up. It would be nice if he could just spend the time healing up, but he can't. He's just going to heal up right there. And can we upgrade this guy? Yeah, he's going to be able to come up soon. Walls for that will fix some of the problem over here. We need all the things. Let's get a market on the list as well. Uh, yeah, you can do that. I don't think they can even see us over those mountains, so I think we're fine. Yeah, I know the archers are going to keep hitting that poor spearman. Uh, that's a problem. He's probably going to go down. Oh, we got a bug there. Hello. How are you doing? Anyway, uh, the archers don't do too much damage. 26 to 27. Jeez, we took more damage than the uh, horses did with the spearmen, even though we had the defensive advantages there. We're going to have to retreat back across the river here. Gulp, Porto, why were... <laughs> why didn't I... <laughs> I wasn't worried enough, and so I didn't actually start building any walls, but I need walls now. I should have been worried. That's the problem. I wasn't worried, but I should have been. Here's our spearman coming to the rescue, hopefully. This guy's got to come back across the border of the river and use that for defense. The chariot archer's doing okay over there. Now, what are these guys going to do down here? Lisbon. Does Lisbon have anything it can do? Crime is a problem. We build walls and a stoneworks so that we can build other things faster. More spearman in between those. And then a spearman after those. And then like a work boat over here for Braga to get more whales that we can trade away for more things. Right, I don't think we have any extra whales right now. We don't. We need more extra whales. More extra whales would be great. <sighs> I don't feel like we're doing very well here. I just need this stupid war to end so that I can get back to improving my infrastructure. You know what? I'm sending this worker right over here. And uh, the spearman that just came in is crossing the river so that he can do some damage over there. As soon as the worker gets over here, I'm going to found and build in this tobacco. That way we can get the benefits as fast as possible. No, how many do we have in there? Is it 320 defense. Five turns. I think we can hold them off. Uh, this guy is dead if he doesn't move. No, the archers can't hit him, so he's good. If he tries to cross the river, he'll be in big trouble. But actually... Actually... There we go. I mean, we traded... Probably our spearmen for that, but it had to be done. Icons of our past. Monuments give food, faith, or gold. Uh, faith if... Uh, how's the religion thing? Actually, we're doing okay on religions, but um, let's get gold. We caught up on building uh, religion 
pretty quickly. That a chariot archer's got to stay in the, the the city there. Oh, can we? Oh, we can totally hit him. Yeah, get out of there. That scout's saving the day again. Though maybe not again. That may be his last move. Um, if these stupid guys weren't up here, I could get the stupid mine. All right, well. Oh, here we go. We had the other one, and because we had a road, we can get the spearmen into the city instead. That's good. Walls are building in every single city. Oh, scouts. Are you going to hang in there? I think they are. They're on a hill. Oh, no. Yep, we knew we sacrificed that to kill the, the uh, horsemen. But it's much cheaper for us to build a new spearman than it is for them to build a new horseman. So that was a decent trade-off for us. I still got to keep the worker defending here. Or, uh... Hmm. Not defending, but uh, hiding in the city. All right. We've almost got that city connected. Maybe we should start building to this city over here. What's the fastest route? Ah, oh, you know what? If we had built this, it would have been better, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so going over is better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going from Porto is probably about the same, too. Let's go from right here. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's the spot we want to start building from. And we'll build it up into the mountains so that we have some ability to move fast through those areas. Oh, oh, ho. Oh. Maybe we can hit these archers really hard here and do some damage. There we go. That's going to have to retreat now. All right, so we're founding this city, which probably hurts us. Yep, it's isolated, so we deal with that by building onto that. Now, how many people do we need? We need to get to 53 population to upgrade our happiness from luxuries. All right, this city needs a monument, and it needs a market and a council right off the bat, and probably walls so that it can be happy. Oh, this guy never actually finished the road, huh? He was building the stone that whole time. I forgot. I thought he was working on the on the road. Okay, well, we'll get there. We didn't get Petra, but you know, I'm pretty sure we didn't care about Petra. All right, only two more turns till we get the walls, and then maybe he gives up. Uh, if we go there, is that going to be safe? I think we're going to move him out so that we protect it. Because that chariot is not going to be able to kill our Pathfinder. All right. Get Porto no longer isolated. And also, we need to thank the English for getting rid of that stupid threatening barbarian camp there. All right. Get the gold. Once our happiness is taken problem, taken care of as a problem, then I think we'll be in good shape. Now he still only has warriors. Did he never research ironworking? There's the peace treaty. Yes. Screw you. Get out of my area. Let my workers do their thing. Okay. Now we can get more whales. Right? Right. Meanwhile, everybody else needs to get garrisoned to increase the city's uh, defense value. This city's still disconnected. So, what do we need? We need lighthouses. So as soon as we finish getting the Colossus, we need sailing, and we need writing. So we can work on getting that science. Where are we science-wise? We are at 13 technologies and 15 for Nebuchadnezzar, but he also has science bonuses, as I recall. Sailing will also get us another trade route, which is good. I'm actually going to have this guy stay right here and upgrade and then go explore some more, if at all possible. Oh, no, he can't explore anymore. Salvador is here blocking us. Okay, but where were we going to have... No, we already explored everything that can be explored over here, didn't we? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, we can maybe explore this area to the west of Vancouver. That's about the only area left. 
England is getting a little bit scary. Is there another place we can settle before everything goes to hell? I think maybe right here. Doesn't need to be on the coast to benefit from it. We won't be able to build any... Uh, any boats from here, but I think that's okay. So I think we want to settle that spot if we can. That's exactly what you're going to go and guard. By guard, I mean prevent barbarians from spawning there. City connection established. Our happiness is back to zero. Fantastic. Now, if we could just get one more of these, this will also help us a, a lot. It'll get us more happiness and... Uh, Reduce the unhappiness. Okay. So now we need to take a quick relook at what we've got in the production pipeline for all these cities. This one is still going to get rid of the crime. That's great. It'll make us look less now. We absolutely want council probably next on that list. We need the science to be our primary motivator here because compass is our big jumping off point. So council. Don't need another spearman right now. Market will help us with gold income, which helps us with buildings. And it helps deal with the poverty issue here. The market will get rid of the ha unhappiness. Water mill is great, but on bigger cities it's better. Let's hold off on building that just yet. We'll find out if we need it later. All right. Meanwhile, why don't we connect up these two cities? Do we build straight through the Behringer Crater to make that a little safer? I think we should. Porto now has walls. Lisbon has walls. Fun Call's trying to catch up. You. What were you going to do? Is there any other place we need you to reserve for us? I know you were going to go explore down here. That's right. And now we can get stone over here. We've got another spearman defending the capital. 7 of 14 still not fantastic. But it will at least be a better deterrent than, like, 3 or 4 of 14. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right. And now we go... 1, 2, 3, 4, I think. Yeah. We don't want our roads to be right near the enemy's side. And we now know Babylonia is an enemy. Most stable nations in history. Hey, we've got a lot of positive happiness. Look at that. I don't know where it came from, but we got it. A couple turns, we finished a lot of things. And let's get some more whales on the t on the ticket. There we go. Um, we're going to get more whales even than that soon enough. So what's our priority? It's still the Colossus. Now the question is, if this is an inland sea area, that's where all the trading is going to happen. This is where we want to put the Colossus. So this has to be the most productive area we can get by the time the Colossus comes out. Which means stone. Which means... Uh, yeah, you stop worrying about that. Get a stone over here. Stone is good for production. Meanwhile, Braga needs to pick up from the illiteracy thing. That'll be a council. And an arena to get us some culture is not the worst thing in the world. It also makes our barracks, forge, and armory get plus two production. Hmm. The extra culture can't hurt. We're pretty far behind on that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this city wants the Colossus, and therefore this city needs production. Barracks doesn't have production yet. So the water mill is the only way to get it, plus three. That's a decent amount, while we wait for the Colossus to be ready. Now, here's the next question. Uh-oh. I just considered something. Oh, he doesn't have that much. Uh, then you're not getting the whales. Do we have enough policies to get the Colossus? Because this mod doesn't just allow you to get uh, wonders just because you got the technology. You also have to have the culture. Nope, we need another policy. We're quite a few turns away from that, but every time we research technology, we get a bunch of culture thanks to this. Right? Oh, no. It's culture when we research technology. Yes, that's what I just said. So that's good. It scales. It'll get us quite a bit when we get these two. Um, now, let's build to here. 
Alright, now our caravan can go anywhere. What's the best route? Well, we want a boat, apparently, to go to York. But what we've got is Lisbon to Ormus. Strike, oh, the iron is hot. and it's just enough to get that, which still hasn't put us in striking distance of that uh, social policy situation with the Colossus. So we need to figure out how to get more culture in the meantime. Bonus yields. Building buildings gives us culture, doesn't it? Yes, building buildings gets us culture. That's how we got down to 26. So we need these buildings to get completed. Uh, oh, we got... Ormus to like us. Look at that. Thank you, Ormus. Well, now we might consider building a... Because we know that Lisbon is our big production city for now. We might consider building our... Did we not yet figure out how to write? No! We still haven't figured out how to write. Crap. So we can't build any diplomatic units. Okay. Well, the Colossus is worth it by Jove. We're going to get another 10 culture here. I think. We're going to get more here. What's the next thing? Mysterious Wanderer in Lisbon. Do we want the gift of the artist, the craftsman, the soothsayer, or the trader? Well, let's see how close are we to getting any of those things. The craftsman will get us a great... The craftsman will get us a great engineer. Boom! And now we can hold on to that for the Colossus. That's fantastic. Would you be interested in a trade agreement? Ooh. You know what? Not having those horses was a problem last time. We gotta up the price here. Seven? I beg your pardon. Mm, you well, you can beg it all you want, you're not gonna get it. Six might be okay. Now what I wanted to do was look for anybody else who's willing to trade for the whales I've got here, because the Rome was willing to give us a little bit of money, but not enough. Not enough. So let's check that out right now. Who's got stuff we can trade for? Nebuchadnezzar's got gold, I'm about to get gold, but Pedro, Pedro, you got your Brazil wood over here. Hola. Yours is the only place I can get it. Oh, but he wants to really gouge me for it. He knows I need it. I don't think I need it that badly. I'll find somebody who will pay. How about, uh, Enrico? Nebuchadnezzar might need some. Oh, he's got whales, you bastard. I need to meet more people, apparently. Elizabeth was willing to pay for the horses. What if instead it's whales? Because I'd like to keep the horses, but I can give you the whales for the money. Okay. Wow! So we found this whole little barbarian island over here, huh? It's actually not the worst place to set up. Right on top of that. Nah, it's too close to Vancouver. It's not great. Um, but yeah, we're just going to mosey a little bit here, okay? Alright. So where was the other spot we were thinking about going? Over here. We could put a settler out of Lisbon. And a water mill for future production. Forge, barracks, arena for future everything. Herbalist, sure. We're gonna need everything in the city. Alright. So we got some more culture. Slowly getting closer. Yeah, let's get to your embassy there. That's good. Now, the copper is also needed for here, because, remember, we lost our worker at the very outset of that war trying to get the copper. And you can get us the iron, and then I can feel better about that. I could either sell it or use it. I could sell at least some of it. I don't think I need more than three or four swordsmen. Uh, council got us a little bit closer. I mean, we're still going to be ten turns behind the metal casting, which gets us there. I think you might just hang out in Braga until we're ready to turn you into an explorer and send you across the, the ocean. I don't think you can get to that island. I can check. Oh man, my poor cities, they need a lot more culture. 
and I need more trade routes. Like, that's my cool thing, and I just, I don't have them yet. I guess we'd send the archer over here to help. I don't know where he came from. There must be like a... a barbarian base over here. Yeah, he can't get there. So you're just going to hang out in Braga. Increase their defensive capabilities. Alright, Thomas Edison in Coimbra. Just hanging out until we can increase the defensive factor, or the, uh, until we can boost the Colossus. It gives us an extra trade route, gives us a little bit of culture. Alright, we connected to Fun Call, and now we need to connect to Coimbra. All right, now we've got 9 of 14, a decent, decent number. You still want me to go make a city over here. This is not a great spot right now. I mean, it could be. If we could kill a cod, this would be the great spot. But I'm not doing that yet. Uh, it wants me to put one here. Huh. I don't think that's wise. This might work. Then at least we have all those ocean areas. Or something like this? Too close to an enemy city. Damn. Well, I don't know. Should we put that over there? Just take it, take the pain? I think we gotta go with the original plan. Let's get one more city so that if we need to, we can pump out more military units. That's what it's gonna come down to. We've got a decent income. Can we get all the way over to the, uh, to the sheep here, you think? Is that worth buying? Is there another place better that we can spend our money? I think it's better to spend it on buildings at the moment. Get us even more stabilized. Get us ready for the explosion, explosion that happens at Compass. So, in Porto, we get a water mill. An herbalist wouldn't be out of line, considering how many forests we have around here. Let's hold off on that. Let's get a granary and a forge and a barracks and an arena. Those are kind of the standard cities things that I want here. Alright, Coimbra's got stone. Because we have foregone writing this whole time to grab the Colossus. Oh, hang on. Samarkand is under attack. We need to send all our military units over there. I didn't even see that was an attack. That's where that guy came from. Go, go, go. Save them. Because we get lots of points for saving them. So where's our other military units? Get them all over there. Make Samarkand our friend. We are probably not able to pledge to protect them because our military is still pathetic, according to the game. As soon as the iron is done, I'm going to build a quite a few swordsmen. Just so that we're ready in case Nebuchadnezzar does something crazy again. Hey! I think that is the first religion. I don't think anybody else... Nope. Oh, Catholicism. That's a little close there, Brazil. I'm not a fan of that. I think I'm going to put my holy city in Porto. Uh, what would be the benefit of that? Well, the Holy City gets certain benefits. Uh, and the benefit of it being there is that it can exert uh, pressure to the surrounding cities and act as a bulwark against Catholicism. What I'm really hoping is that the British don't get a religion, and then I can pretty much guarantee that I get all of their cities. Because it's going to be just geographically closer. All right, Archer. We want you to finish that guy off. Boom! Look at that. They're my friend now. Sam Arcand, we're here to save the day. How much longer? Fifteen more turns. So that's probably at least two more barbarian spawns we can help kill and get Sam Arcand, uh secured. That's great. That's really helping. Because not only are they giving us two different luxury goods that we didn't ha already have, they're also giving us two happiness and four gold. Excellent. Now, are they... They're friendly... They'll usually make certain requests. Okay, so I hate the hostile personalities, because those are very difficult. They're minus uh, an extra 50% faster reduction. 
All right, so you just chill here. We need the lighthouse soon. All right. I'm actually going to put you right inside their territory. Let's get this settler. Now that we have tons of happiness, we're going to settle that down. We're going to build a monument. We're going to build a council. We're going to build a market. We're going to build a shrine. All of those are like starting things. And you know what? We can make them all go faster. All right. Great prophet is ready to found a religion. What are we going to found the religion? The religion of the whales? Call it the... The blue beauty? I don't know. What are we going to do? Uh, what do these things look like whales? This is kind of like a whale. Like, if you look at it head on. I don't know. Let's use this as a generic thing. It's going to have to be something. To, what is the Latin name for whales? I'm looking it up on Wikipedia here. Setea. Setea is the is the classification I think Cetae is a widely distributed and diverse clade of aquatic mammals that can take consists of whales, dolphins and porpoises. But we want specifically families considered whales. Now let's just go with Cetae. Sure. Set Oh, I'm sorry. Cetacea. I like that better. That's a nice sounding name. There we go. The religion of the whale, so to speak. Now, what's our founding belief? We want council of elders, right? We want uh, science here. When a city adopts a religion for the first time, gain 30 science and production in the holy city for every city following your religion. boo ya kasha boo ya kasha Spread the city, get the stuff. Now... This one is 15% of its yields during a golden age. Now, if we, we because we founded this in our science city, that would also be good if we have a lot of golden ages. I just don't know that we're going to be focused on that. Receive faith in golden age points whenever you conquer a city. Belena. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's do that then. That's Baleen Whales, probably. I don't know if it's... Beleni Day. The toothed whales versus baleen whales. So there's two different types of stuff. I'm just going to keep it at I'm just going to keep it at uh, cetacea, just because that has a nice flow. So which of these is going to help our science victory the most? I think it's just Council of Elders, right? And the follower belief, which is the one that gives us a building that helps with science? Not orders. Pagodas? No. Stupas? No. Mosques. Mosques gives us bonus science. And it also increases the city's resistance. Plus 20% culture in the city during golden ages. Hey, that's not bad, too. That's a guy. Synagogues. What's that? Production and faith. Ooh. We, during We Love the King Day, science increases by 15%. That's also good. And I like having the extra production. We know we're going to be expanding, and we need our cities to be able to produce things. Let's get synagogues. When pieces of bronze or gold or iron break, the metal. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do. Now what did what did what did the, the Brazilians get for their belief here anyway? Catholicism got ancestor worship. Oh, they took the scholarship. Those bastards. Plus one science for every two followers. They stole it from us. Now, I'm going to start just spreading the hell out of this religion. So we want to build missionaries all the time, right off the bat. So much of them. Braga loves the king. Everybody loves the king. Hey, we're getting that bonus right now if we get the stupas built. Uh, but we don't have time for it. That's too bad. All right. Samarkand is going to be our friend for a long time. Long time. He wants me to declare war on Nebuchadnezzar again. Is he at war with Nebuchadnezzar? Yeah, but only because he's also at war with Rome. You're not actually going to help me against Nebuchadnezzar. But he'll give me three luxury goods. That's still not a good deal, right? It still says the deal for them is really good. They would need to give me a lot more than that. Yeah. 
I'm not in a position to do it. I don't have catapults researched. Right? I need mathematics. Yeah, he's got walls. That's not that's not a that's not an option. Okay. So everybody here is just gonna chill out. Boy, you know you better watch out. All right, so the next technology actually is going to put us over the limit, and then we can start building the Colossus, because I don't think we can right now. If we look here, yes, we need one more policy. We need more culture. Probably shouldn't have put both my ranged units over here, but that's okay. Oh, there's the, f there's the next spawn happens up here. And if we do this, we've caught him. Mostly my goal here is to make sure that the Samarkand military isn't the one who kills him. Otherwise, I don't get credit. Vancouver promises a great reward if you construct six of the herbalist buildings in your empire. Well, bad news. I've only got six cities, actually. Okay, I could build those. Vancouver would love us if that's the case, huh? Only 25 influence? I mean, they give me 106 production, but meh. Oh, the, hang on. That's for Conquer Ormus. Is the bottom one. Okay, it's only 25. Yeah, 26. Okay, and what does they want to do? They want me to connect copper to my network. Really, what I need is the stupid writing so I can get some em uh, envoys here. Having a lot of money means that I could do some good things with that. All right. Uh... No, let me reconsider. We'll kill him in a second. Actually, crap. He has to be next to Samarkand for me to get credit. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. So the Barbarian's probably gonna stay fortified there unless I give him an out to get a little closer. No, he's gonna attack those guys. So let's back up and let him get closer to Samarkand. They don't have the ability to knock down the Spearmen fast enough anyway. So we're just gonna do like this. And be like, oh no, you scared us. We'll save the money. Losing grasp on Samarkand because this stupid barbarian won't come. Get closer. Get closer to Samarkand. Yes! All right, so now can we hit him from here? Yes, and then we can do boom, done. And Samarkand likes us again. Oh, look how much culture we got. Four cities finished building things at the same time. Lisbon, Puerto, Braga, and Coimbra. Lots of culture flowing in now from buildings. Somebody's stealing our research. Okay, now we don't need the happiness anymore. So now we're going to get science and food. Right? It's three food and three science every city. Boom. Tough Acton. Ten Acton. And Coimbra got another... Uh, technically got another gold, but that's going to go to Porto. No longer friends with Ormus. Oh no, Ormus doesn't like us anymore. See, Ormus and Vancouver in a war. They want us to conquer the other one. And you know what? We could definitely do that to Vancouver. Because we already said that's a pretty nice city for us to have. And, like, do we need two maritime city-states? <laughs> but we might do that once we get our special building, our special um, caravel guys to help. Hello, Desert Wolves. How's it going? In this game, you can invade Poland. All right, here's the Colossus, because we just got that. Now we have our great engineer go bam, 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 bam with his hammer, and we're almost ready. I'm hoping they spawn over here in a second. All right, so what we need to do now is this. Finish building that road. Braga. Stoneworks. And hey, a lighthouse. Let's get that done first so that we can deal with this disconnected issue. That will also generate trade, I believe. 
Oh, and we have the ability to get another trade route. What I'd really like to do is go explore this inner sea and get some of these cities that are in there so they have they are options for trade, uh, which means we need a trireme. Actually, you know what? We're just going to buy that thing and send it out. The Colossus is almost done. We'll build another cargo ship because, if I'm not mistaken, cargo ships... No, cargo ships are not our best option. Okay. Then... We will build a caravan somewhere else. Aha! Here's a target. Stay on target. I'm not going to attack him because I can't kill him this turn. That's all there is to it. I'm going to wait and kill him next turn. More culture flowing in as we build things. So, we got the writing finally. Um, what do we need next? I think we need a beeline for compass. Do we need anything before that? Do we need the amphitheater? It would be very nice to have, but it's not something we need. Lighthouse is something... So whales aren't improved by a specific building, right? Let's see. The lighthouse, yes, technically. The Centaurus extractors is the monopoly we would need to get with the whales. Seaport and harbor also help. So... That's okay. What does this need? A forge? A uh, wind plant. And a temple. A temple actually gives bonuses to amber. Okay. What about gold? That might be a bank. And copper is a forge. So that's why this should definitely have a forge ASAP. Because forges uh, improve iron. Why is it taking so long for these guys to finish that stupid mine? One turn to construct a mine. Okay. You better be... Okay, it is. It's one turn to construct a mine. Um, now they want some of my iron. They'll accept my embassy. Mm, 50 turns for that. No, let's just do, like, one gold. And, uh... Yeah. That's a better deal. I'm not gonna... Okay, embassy, embassy. Good, good. So, oh, there's Rome. That's good to know. But we need to explore and find a route to it. There's the Colossus! Yes, trade routes other players make to a city with the Colossus generate an extra two gold for the city owner, and the trade route owner gets an additional one gold for the trade route. City must be built on the coast. We did it. We did it, Reddit. There we go. Samarkand likes us even more. A solid alliance now. Okay. And now this city, this coastal city, that needs to be my production center for boats later on for this particular coast is going to get all of the upgrades that do so. And a library has to be high up on that list too because we are way behind on that. Scrivener's office is going to go in the capital and it's going to happen right quick because that way we can buy these envoys. Now, where does a chancery come in? I don't remember. Chancery comes in on some technology, hey? Chancery, Chancery, Chancery. Guilds? It's not on writing. That's the only way to get us more... It comes in on education. That's a ways away. It's up here. And it's not going to happen by the time we get to Compass. Well, you know what? Could we get education before we go to Compass? It'll speed up. Going to Compass? No, because we're not going to have time to build universities before we're already towards Compass. We're going to hit Compass, then we'll hit Education, then uh, Astronomy. Because Astronomy will let us sail to the New World and set up some solid foundations there. Alright, this is only happening for what? Seven more turns? We might get one more Barbarian Invasion. And then we can consider... Ah, here we go. Here's our exploration ship. There we go. We got Kume and Fort Aleza. Meanwhile, let's go and get the horses over here. Cargo ship. Where's our best cargo ship? Let's go to the trade overview. Coimbra to Samarkand is our best cargo ship. We get extra science and culture because we're going to a city-state. It's not a lot, because it's not far away, but we still get some. Ah, you want my whales, huh? There you go. That's for you. 
Uh, I believe we are playing tomorrow, Desert Wolves. Yes. Uh, oh, you mean Civ Five? I don't know about Civ Five, but I do believe that we're playing the the Cataclysm game in the morning. Yes, we must spread the whale. Uh, borders of Braga have grown, and the whale is spread. All hail the, the whale. Um, okay. You don't have anything to... Because this thing is just taking so long to build anything. So let's get the arena high up on that list. And the forge has to be high up on that list. Because, man, this city is not producing. That's better. Uh, okay, you are going to finish building the road, and you are going to build this, and our infrastructure is coming along nicely. Huh. I kind of hoped there was one or two more cities in this inland sea. That's why I built the Colossus there. But we do have one, two, three, four that we can see so far. All right. Birth of a citizen in Porto gave us a little science. All right, our science should be coming way along now that we've got three trade routes, which when they move, they give us a bunch of extra stuff. The gate, and key to the, the gate and key to the science is fantastic. All right, so I was hoping to get one more city up there, but no, alas, we do not have another city. Oh, but it does reach out into open ocean. If we can get a open borders deal, we can get out through here and just uh, get trade going to Rome, maybe. Or have Rome trade with us. They just have to know who we are. Yes, we are on for Cataclysm, as far as I know. Market day has begun. Yay! All right, here we go. All right, and they're almost done with that road. So what should this guy do? Let's get another... Let's get copper. We never got the copper, did we? That took a long time for never getting. All right, we've got an overabundance of workers, which is fantastic. That's what we want to see. We've got a lot of happiness, which is also great. It means we can go find some great spots across the world. That's tempting. I really do. I really do want to take you up on that, but... I can't. I can't. I'm not ready. We'd need trebuchets at this point. All right, Samarkand really loves us now. 99. That means we've got 39 more turns of alliance with them before we have to do anything else. They want us to conduct, construct two more granary buildings in our empire? That's easy. Samarkand is like the best ally. Super cool. Um, I think we wanted to take over Vancouver, right? And get Ormus on our side because we don't care about the whales that Vancouver has. We don't. We don't need that. What we do need is just like that as ours. So with that having been said, on our way to Compass, we're going to get the Trebuchet. We're going to get Long Swordsman. So now, as soon as all of this economic stuff is done, and the library has to fit in there somewhere, and damn it, the baths are so valuable as well for culture, but we're just going to skip that part and go straight to Swordsman, 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 Catapult. Go, go, Gadget, Capital Building. All right. So now that that has been taken care of, uh, they still have some walls to build. We're going to bring everybody back, put them back in the cities they were in. There's our emissary. We want our emissary to go where? To Ormus? I think Ormus, we want them to like us. Do we have any other options? No. Because we're going to take over Vancouver. That would be a waste. So I guess we're going to Ormus. And if we're going to do that to Vancouver, what do we have? Does the Trireme stand a chance? Not with a 14 against a 22. But we could build a Dromon. 15. It would just be an extra bit of damage. Or we could wait until we get the now. Because, man, I'm just looking at this one, two, three places to maybe put trebuchets against the Vancouver. It could be done. Uh, 
All right, let's get our Monopoly done with our whales. We want that 10% bonus of science, right? Let's do it. And we buy a workboat, and now we're done. All right, we built a caravan here. Where's that going to go? We have to pick a good trade route. Lisbon to Samarkand is already done, so we need Lisbon to Salvador. Okay, and that will also get us a little bit of culture. Better than nothing. We could also use this caravan as an internal caravan. We still get the bonuses. That's weird. It can go to ocean, I guess, but only on its way to something else, usually. Uh, hmm. Oh, we connected copper for Ormus, so they like us. So this, this one trireme is not going to do very much for us at the moment. There's the caravan to Salvador we were looking to do. Unfortunately, that spreads the wrong religion. Unacceptable. We need more faith is what we need. It took us a long time to build that missionary. All right, one more turn and we'll have the monopoly on whales. When is the right time to go after Nebuchadnezzar? If we can take both those cities, we'll get the monopoly on gold as well. See, if you want to give me... I don't want horses. I don't know why you think I'd want horses. Yeah, he really needs that, doesn't he? He really needs them whales. So here's what I'm going to do with this missionary. I'm going to spread it to Coimbra... And then I'm going to try to spread it to Babylon. Have all the religions been founded? No, there's still two more that can be founded. That's crazy. So how is this doing for pressure? Ten pressure, only... Ew, not a lot of pressure from us. Maybe we send this to Lyra and get some more pressure going on for the cities here. Do the Romans have a religion? Didn't they? No. The Romans don't... Oops, wrong one. The Romans do not have a religion. And hopefully that will stay the way. I can keep expanding to them. The Romans had the tobacco monopoly, but they couldn't get to it. Not in time. Instead, I've got three tobacco. If I build... Oh, man, that's too bad. If I built the other thing here, the uh, East India Company, it would be kind of a waste, except that I would get the tobacco bone, the monopoly for what that's worth. All right, let's go back to the capital now and figure out how we're going to provide a solid food income for this capital. Could be these three right here. That's what we're going to do. Boom! Whale monopoly, baby! Nobody else knows whale oil the way that we do. Nobody! Brazil has, of course, the monopoly on Brazil wood. England has gems. Brazil also has cotton. We've got our whales. Venice... Wait a minute. Venice has dyes? There's only two in the whole world, and they've got one of them. Wow. Whaleopoly. You know it. I guess this trireme is just going to sit here. I'll sell it later if we don't wind up needing it. If we ever do have to fight against, like, the Brazil... Brazilians or the Romans, then we would want to have some naval presence there. All right. So we conduct a diplomatic mission with Ormus, and they are our ally now. They're providing us with their great food and crabs. Look at that. Look at how many happiness we got there. Lots of happiness. How much? Lots of. All right. Missionary. Let's get your bonus here in Lyra. All right. Now is Coimbra maybe better off? Plus 10 pressure versus plus 10 pressure. Okay, that's good. However, <sighs> temples are over here. We're not going to get those for a while. Does every city at least have a shrine? Let's find that out. Even the newest cities need a shrine. Spearman's hanging out in here.
currency will put our workers back to work building some... Uh, oh, no. That means our original plan here... Oh, no, okay, we can build right there. Okay, that's a good play. That's a good play. So, the uh, the way that villages work in this mod, if you build them on a road that's connecting a city to the capital, they get bonus resources to them. And if you build them on a area that also has a trade route going through them, then they also get even more bonus resources. So, that is why putting it right there is perfect. <laughs> it's really... They've assassinated one of our great engineers. Oh. Well, he wasn't great yet. He was going to be, though. That's just me. Um, so the other thing this mod does is much like uh, in Civ 6. In fact, this is probably one of the places that Civ 6 has got the mod. For every two farms adjacent to a farm, it gets a plus one food. So you want to make farm triangles around each of your cities if possible. For example, you can do a farm triangle right here. These three spots are all within range of the city, and they could all provide uh, bonus food to each other. Uh, now, while we're waiting for that, let's build a nice... Uh, unfortunately, that means no uh, village for that area. That's okay, though. Sometimes that's what happens. Now, we could provide some hammers to a city that's behind. Like, Fun Call is behind everybody else. So let's give it some hammers to start uh, going there. Oh, but we've got room for another trade route once we unlocked one of these things, Commerce. Um, which one of these has a very small... Here we go. And do we want a caravan? Give us the Beat Boys. Yes, we want a caravan. And we know we want the Aqueduct right here in Funkal because it is going to give us lakes and oasis get plus two food. So they don't even necessarily need uh, the farm triangle, but they're still going to get one right here. That's still good. Now here is another great place for a village. You can see this is going to give us a culture for gold and two production, whereas if we built it over here, it was only going to be uh, like three yields. So this is an extra four yields putting it on here. Yeah, I really don't like the district system in Civ 6. The whole pacing of it feels off. I don't ever feel satisfied when I make anything in Civ 6. Because the whole, like, adjacency thing with the districts just makes it really difficult to... F and they don't feel like they do anything. Like, oh good, I built a district to give me plus one hammer. Like, really? I spent all that time building a district, and the best it can do is give me plus one hammer and the ability to get more in the future? That just feels so lame. It doesn't feel good to construct anything in that game, except Petra, which is way overpowered. Like, that's the main problem. Here, when I could build the aqueduct next to a city that has, uh, you know, uh, a three lake tiles, I fucking jump for joy, because that's a ton of extra food. That's an extra six food, plus one for the aqueduct, plus 15% growth. Like, those are all great things. When you build a barracks and you get plus two production and a science and an extra supply cap, that feels like great. That's going to help me in my military thing. Plus XP if you build units. Everything in this game, when you build it, feels like it's helping you enough. Now, the library is kind of an exception. It's like, only plus two science. I've got 78 science. But you get a scientist slot from this, which can also be very beneficial. Uh, all you need is enough uh, food coming off of the ocean. And we're certainly going to try for that. A harbor will help with it. Let's build a barracks also. Increase our supply cap and maybe get some more military units. Actually, the capital was going to build military units as soon as it was done with its economic building, so I remember correctly. Uh-oh. Kume might steal our little spot there. I don't want them to steal a little spot there. So I'm going to pick it up. Yoink. Sorry. That's just the way it goes, brah. Should have spent the money. Uh, lots of free culture from buildings. No, the barracks definitely doesn't add science in the vanilla. All it does is that one thing. It gives you the XP, which makes it feel really annoying to have to build it. 
to get the XP on the units. So you build it in your one city that builds a ton of units. You're right, exactly. It's underpowered. Instead, it gives science, and later it will give production when you build the arena. The arena powers up all of your barracks and forges to give more production. So the arena itself mostly is a uh, is, is supposed to be considered um, uh, culture building because it reduces boredom, but it gives you tourism and it gives you potentially one, two, three production. Speaking of which, let's get libraries everywhere, right? We know that every city needs a library now. Science is our primary statistic that we're going for. I don't need to spend the money on that. Uh, ooh, we've got Angkor Wat as a possibility. Culture and gold cost of acquiring new tiles is pretty awesome, actually. So which city can build it quickly? Let's look. Lisbon can do it in how many turns? They can also build the Great Wall. I don't know that we want to build the Great Wall. Let's remember what this does. I haven't built in a long time. It increases your supply cap by three. Enemy land units expend all movement when entering your territory. Increases the military, provides walls for free. So yeah, I think the main thing is the three extra supply. Moving into your territory for the first time, though, stopping, that's kind of that's that's also kind of nice at the very beginning of the fight. Uh, plus a great engineer point. But Angkor Wat is what we're going to be going for. Seven turns, it comes off of currency. We got that a while ago, but maybe nobody's looking for it. And we receive a free Mandir. Okay, let's jump that to the top. Right, science does make sense to put on the barracks. They want to give me some iron for my gold. I don't need iron. I would just like to have more gold. Gold for gold, okay. I don't need the Brazil wood now that I'm doing really okay on happiness. Okay. Yeah, we're going to build another, and we're, our gold is going through the roof with all these villages in really ideal places. Quite fantastic places. Here's a, far, a farm tri triangle, and then we'll put um, a village here. I kind of want every city to have a village on the road going into its uh, city. So we've got trebuchets now, and I think that's what we want to build in Funkal is our second most productive city, huh? They don't even have their water mill built yet. Let's get the arena out of there. The aqueduct is kind of necessary. Then we'll build a barracks, then the arena. And what are the things that's needed? Let's, let's do that. Get the water mill going. It'll help their growth, so will the aqueduct. Um, but one of these cities, I think this one, is going to need to build me some trebuchets. Oops. I think I built a trireme. Uh, nope, I did build two trebuchets. Okay, good. Let's build three trebuchets. Because uh, you already have a barracks, right? Uh, yes, that's right there. Okay, perfect. So this is going to build the trebuchets, this is going to build the swordsmen, and then we're going to war with Vancouver. And thence we're going to war with Vancouver. Okay. A missionary has been purchased. I'm going to use that one to try to influence Babylon and Akkad. And hopefully use that as a bulwark against these guys. Now we've got 16 pressure for our religion. Fantastic. All of these here. This one's feeling the pressure too. 22 pressure. And we still... Like, it's crazy how late it feels for the religion still being founded here. Oh, you know what? When we hit physics just a few minutes ago, we hit the medieval age. So this this video is over. It feels like we're flying through here, does it not? All right. Um, I think I'm going to take a break here for dinner and come back at, let's say, two hours from now. So seven o'clock my time. Um, two hours and eight minutes from now. So if you're interested in seeing where this goes, come back for that time. Otherwise, uh, We'll see you. You can check out the video. We'll be on my uh, channel. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.